It is impossible for you to think an impossible thought. That is impossible. Imagination is everything. It's the preview to life's coming attraction. That's what your imagination is. Your imagination is actually very, very real. Everything you imagine could be a preview to life's coming attraction. Everything we have today came from somebody's imagination. Imagination is everything. It's a preview to life's coming attraction. Everything you've ever imagined is real. It is impossible for you to think an impossible thought. That is impossible. You can't think something that ain't possible. You ain't that smart. So if it's in your head, you got to ask yourself, how did it get there? That's God showing you a preview of a coming attraction he has for you. The problem with most people is you think your imagination is hocus pocus. It's really not. It's a preview of a coming attraction. If you react to your imagination, that's where your real life is. It's just God showing you what he has for you. It's the problem people have is they tell their imagination to the wrong people. I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost friends. I lost everything. I became homeless. I lived in a car for three years. But I just saw this, I saw this, I saw this vision. I just pursued it. I said, wow, that's it. You have to take chances in life. If you don't take chances in life, you'll never have the life God has for you. Life is about risk. If you play it safe, you won't have much of a life. Life is risk. It take, it take courage to pursue your dream. I just did it. It cost me everything, but eventually, God is very good, man, when he sees you take a leap of faith. He supplies you everything you need. Now, it's gonna cost you something. But most people, most people, most people are not willing to pay what it costs to go after your dream, because you're gonna have to hurt a little bit. And most people don't like being uncomfortable. If you don't wanna be uncomfortable, please do not pursue success, because success is a very uncomfortable feeling. And I just learned to be, I learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. You can get that in your head. Everything you've ever gone through, God got you through it. You didn't even realize it, he just got you through it. You can't name one thing he didn't pull you through. Your brain is divided into two halves, positive and negative, good and evil. It don't function on nothing else. Ain't no neutral ground in your brain. It's either positive and good or negative and evil. Each half of your brain has millions of factory workers on each side. You got a million factory workers on the positive side. You got a million factory workers on the negative side. At the forefront of each one of those factories in your brain is a foreman. You got foreman positive and you got foreman negative. You are in charge. You're the boss of the factory. We are how we think. You could wake up in the morning and you say, you know what? Today is gonna to be a great day today. I expect something really good to happen for me today. Man, thank you, Lord, for waking me up this morning. He said, what did you say? You said, I said, I'm having a great day today. I expect something good to happen today. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Foreman Positive turns around and goes, Steve's having a great day today. He's expecting some wonderful things to happen. And man, let's get it going. And they start manufacturing thoughts. Same brain. Man, I can't wait to go to work today. It may not be the job I want, but at least I got a job. I'm so sure grateful I got a car to drive to work today. Hey man, at least I got a check coming in. I sure want to thank you, Lord, for this roof over my head today. I appreciate the fact that I don't have a car, but at least I can walk to the train. Man, this is going to be great today. That's how your mind works 24-7. It never turns off. You have got to change the way you think. It is the whole determining factor of where you go in life. We are all where we are today because we thought ourselves to this position. If you don't like the position, think yourself out of it. Change your attitude, you change your altitude. The road to success is always under construction. Ain't no, this, this life ain't set up to be smooth. You 
you combat negativity and you combat uh, discouraging discouragement with gratitude. It's the one way to combat discouragement is with gratitude. What messes you up is you focus on the thing that's not happening. And that causes you to get discouraged. So whenever you get discouraged, you have to change your focus from what's not happening to what has happened. And it straightens you out immediately. But you have to focus on gratitude. People understand how serious gratitude is. You know, it's, it's a serious principle of success. It's hard to be miserable and grateful at the same time. Joy and depression cannot reside in the same space. So when you get down and you start thinking about how dark it is, if joy and depression cannot reside in the same place, when you get depressed and you get discouraged, you gotta replace it with joy. And what more can be more joyous than gratitude? What has God done for you? Didn't you wake up today? Ain't you still breathing? Don't you have some measure of health? Ain't you working? You may not have a car you want, but don't you have a car? Ain't you eating groceries today? You ain't homeless? Now when you start tripping and you get depressed, you gotta go, you gotta go into yourself and come up with some gratitude. Once you get grateful, you can't be discouraged and grateful at the same time. You cannot do it. That's how you come back every single time. I'm alive, I'm breathing, I'm healthy. I'm finna go do a job, I tell jokes. They finna pay me, Lord, they finna pay me. That's how you do it. That's how you come back. I'm telling you, it works. It works. Just, just try it. Negative thinking is a major problem because you got to, you've got to get control of this. You actually can control what this does. No one else is in charge. If you're trying to be successful or happy, you have no room for negativity. The best way to mask yourself from negativity every morning is to start with gratitude. Big thinking gets rid of negativity. Dreams and visions gets rid of negativity. Success is not how far you got. Cause see, you're gonna be disappointed all the time. Cause somebody always further than you. So now you'll forever be disappointed. Success ain't how far you got. Success is how far you got from where you started. That's your success. That's yours. You can be successful, but if you constantly looking at somebody else, Steve, you flunked out of school. Steve, you don't have a degree. Steve, you lost everything twice. Steve, you've been homeless and you lived in a car. See, I did all that. Oprah ain't done none of that. So my success ain't from where I, where I am, it's from where I started. So guess what? I'm a successful person.